Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying another salmon fly, it's uh, Patagorva, or well, it's the original temple dog, is what it is, yeah, it's a temple dog, and it's the original part and that's tied by Hawk and Norland, um, but aye, it's the Patagorva colour scheme is what it has become known as. As always I'll have a materials list in the description below, along with a link to uh, the social media. And a link to Patreon for anybody that would like to support the channel, help me cover the costs of it, and get access to the members only content and be eligible for giveaways. Uh, the Amazon link will also be in there for anybody that would like to support me in that way. It's all very appreciated, helps me to keep these videos coming. So, I've started my tube. I'm using the Froden tubes, uh, the FITS system. The sort of original of these soft plastic tubings. I've got a medium at the back and an extra small at the front. The medium tube is what dictates the size of the fly. Right? The overall fly has got to be about twice the length of this black tubing. Uh, and I've cut the tubing at an angle so that I can tie the tubes together as I start the thread there. So I'm just taking tight wraps, they don't need to be touching, just get a bed of thread and I'll stop. If I think about this in is the body here. I'm going to have my, my tag in my butt, the front half, the front half and the back half will be like that. And then the wings will be tied across the, the slope. And I'll just be finishing with the last wing and hacker on the small tubing. That helps you get that nice wee head. Um, so, tie the tag. Oops. Not covering my spool there. Which is a uh, oval gold tinsel. Just catch that on the bottom. The three wraps. And I'm going to protect this with some super glue. Just a wee bit of super glue on either on either side. And I'll take Four turns is plenty. Maybe three is enough. Cross my thread on the underside. Trim away my waist. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm not trimming it that close because everything gets covered up. You don't need to be too fussy. And it gives you a sort of longer tie in as well, so it's a bit more securely held. Tail, it's fluorofiber, hot orange. No longer through a packet of this. And I'm going to tie the tail pointing forward. Now it's already kind of tapered, but it's a bit too long, so I'm just going to keep the taper but shorten that a wee bit. And I'll tie this. Going forward, the length of the black tube, more or less. And make sure it's on top. Get it nice and secure. And then I'm going to just kind of turn this. Sometimes it fights you a wee bit, but I'm going to turn this and make like a very bright hot orange butt. Again, I'll catch it on the underside. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Two or three tons. Trim that off. 
and then I can fold my tail back in sections and tie that off and that's a nice wee tapered tail at this stage I'm going to put in the balance I'm just going to use some lead tape I'm just going to do the front half where the body will be so where the dubbing section is going to go just like that, just, just adds a bit of weight helps the flight swim better the rib is just another length of uh, oval gold and then for the body just flat gold tinsel Just tidy everything up, take the thread to the, the front, and I go slightly further with the tinsel than the tinsel body is going to be ending. Uh, and I'm just taking a tidy up the tie in point with a dubbing later just to protect that. But super glue. I'll stick the tinsel down and make for a very tough fly. Just keep these turns overlapping. A nice tinsel body. I'll come in, tie it off, and I'll come back. And that's super secure. Then we want a wee bit of uh, ice tub, black, and don't be shy with this, because right? you've got to hit it with some velcro. Take this down, and let that build up. This is all part of getting the the density at the front of the fly and even add a wee bit more right, you want the all the bulk to be up here and the fly tapering away like a, like a, like a teardrop shape body hackle I want a good for it's a silver badger dyed hot orange. We will fill this in on the side. Fill it back with stem. It's not to break, so we'll just trim it. We'll take a turn at the front. And then I'll come back and open. It's quite like that wee hackle. I much prefer to use my fingers if I can. Let's try again. One, two. Get to the back. Come in with your tinsel. Got nice tight wraps. Get to the front. Tie it 
off. Just snap that tip away. Come on with the Velcro. And brush this dubbing. Bring it into the hackle. Bring it into the body. It gives you a nice it starts to give you that nice uh, sort of sparkly translucence. And then a bit of flash of I'm not normally a great user of flash of and a, these style of flies, but it's I'm tying the the original. So it's a uh, sunburst flash of This is actually the Sabai stuff, uh, sparkle here, but it's the same, very nice. Length, I don't want this too long, maybe just beyond the tail, that bit's too long though. And different lengths, right, don't want it all even, just come across. Spread it out. Fold it back. Let's cut that at, a, at an angle. Or the, or the different pieces are all different lengths, yeah. And it's wide. First wing. The first wing is going to be the shortest, it's also going to be the heaviest of the three. But still, I mean, don't go mad. There we go. And there, that length. Right, the first wing's only got to be coming to the back of the tube. Right? It's no. It's not going to be super long on the or, well on the size of fly. If you're tying a longer, a longer one, you you might be extending it on the bigger tube. But this is only going to be like a three, three inch. Still a decent size fly, but I mean, you guys that tie these up, sixteen, seventeen centimeters. That wing length's fine. Try to trim the butts. A couple of wraps. It's the same. I want to spread this. Right. Get it sitting wide. That helps you get that teardrop shape. And I'll fold back. I'll just sort of split it in half. I'll fold it back aside at a time. Right, you get something like that, quite a wide wing. It's actually sort of separate looking at the moment, but if I just hit it with the, the brush, it sort of the clumps come back together and you get that nice wide profile. So from when the fish looks from below, it's it's seeing you know you've got nearly an inch there at the at the widest part of the wing, and it'll taper away to a wee fine a wee fine fine point. Um, right, so I'm angel here. A couple of strands is all you need. It's the same thing, get it spread. You want it, you want it spread out wide, you don't want just a bunch. And then trim it different lengths. 
and it gets that sort of nicely through the wing mixed in. Lovely. Now it's time for a hackle to cover the transition. I'm just going to use a wee soft hackle, well, big soft hackle. Tie it in by the tip, nice and secure. And then I'll double it just as I go. Just it's dead easy to double a hackle on a tube, you just slide your fingers along the tube. Let you make a wee triangle. Just double the bit that you're winding. And you come to your thread. Oops. You come to your thread. Cross over. Lock that in. Trim away the stock. Then any fibres that are going forward, just sweep them back, tidy up. You're trying to keep things kind of small. You're just tidying the, as I say, the, like the transition between the wings. Went for a nice long. Or a longer bit of this. I'm still using Arctic Fox here because it's quite a small fly. You know, if, if to go any bigger than this, you need to start looking at Marble Fox or something for your underwing. Um, just to get that extra length, then your overwing might even be could be goat or something, or some other long here. Now yeah. Right, I'm just giving this a good brush. Put a crab in the bottom there for the hide. I'll just take that out. Get in again with the brush. There we go, nice and clean. Quite just, just quite slightly add a bit of extra taper to this. That's fine. Again, you've got to think about the teardrop and how you're going to get it. See, it's a longer here. So I'll go here. Just catch that in. I'm just going to tidy all this up here. Get a bit, a wee bit unruly. Same again, just. Get a wee brush. Just take your time. Angel here again. Couple of strands. You don't want to overdo it. You know. Same thing, you've got a tapered cut, good spread. You just need a few. And then I can tie my final wing. You could, you might, if you're tying a bigger fly, you might need an extra hackle here just to deal with the volume of the, because you've created the, the big heavier wing. But with this, this is quite a small fly, there's not actually that much material in there. I can get away with just the two. Just 
I'm, I'm switching to Marble Fox here just to get um, a wee bit more length and help that taper. This last wing's got to be the final wing. Uh, the, thin, the, the final wing's got to be the thinnest wing, I mean to say. So the taper, it'll be the longest and it'll be the thinnest and it'll just help that teardrop shape. If you see the, the I don't know how well you can see it. I'm going to just check that. You see how it comes into a nice wee teardrop and the black's just that wee bit longer. thing is, is when you get these in the water, they just look amazing. I still remember the first one I saw. Um, just being fished. I thought it was going to swim away itself. So, there's my head and my wing. Now, this is something that I wouldn't probably do on any other, any other, uh, these sort of temple dog style flies, but it's part of the dressing. There's a couple of bits of flash about on either side of the wing. Now, the reason I don't do this, and I don't like, I don't really like it that much, um, is simply that it doesn't it doesn't stay as part of the wing. The flash of is too heavy, it doesn't blend in the way the angel here does. But we're tying the original. So I've got my two strands on one side. Two on the other. Just cut them different lengths. And I just want them coming in just sort of to the length of the brown stuff in the wing there. The rune fox. Nice wee bit of flash, but as I say, it can it, there can be a tendency for the the flash about to drop out of the the body of the wing, which is not so good. Last hackle, just another soft hackle. Prepare it as before. Cut it, expose the tip, cut a wee triangle, tie it in. Oops, just don't like that there. There we go. And the same as before, just double this as you go, winding forward. And that takes you down onto the tube. And we're, and we're golden, we've got a nice, nice small head. Lovely teardrop shaped fly. The last thing it needs is just a wee bit of jungle cop. Open up the desk. Um, two the same, obviously. Length is up to you. Um, I usually have them kind of about halfway back along the body. So, have a wee look at that. And that, what I do is, so that I know they're exactly the same, just layer them up, level them up, 
one on top of the other, strip them at the same time. That will do. Then I'll just take the first one. And this this feather's got a wee twist in it. So I'm just going to use my thumbnail to sort of kink it slightly in the opposite direction. And that should hopefully allow me to position it a bit better. I like to do my side first and then I'll come in and I'll just rotate the vise a wee bit tie this one in just two or three wraps is plenty I just hold them, make sure they're the same Tighten up. We last check. Hold the tips back. Just draw any fibres that's going forward. Take them back. Tidy that up. Just trim them away. You can break them, but I don't mind trimming it. No, I'm just got to. Slightly moistened everything just to get anything. I don't want any fibres drifting forward at this point. Because I'm going to just, I'm not going to put finish, I'm just going to put a couple inches of super glue along my thread and just lock that head in place. That's fine. Turn that away, and then I'll just take away any excess and turn the thread so that it's turn the fly so that the it's in the direction of the thread wraps and it just pushes that thread tag right into the the glue, and your fly's finished. Right, um, that will never come loose. All you need to do is melt the end of the tube and then get a couple of coats of varnish and it's solid right so I'm at the end I've still got enough for at least another fly on this wee bit of inner tubing so I'm going to throw that away trim it a millimetre, two millimetres not much more than that And then I just put it back at the right at the very edge of the needle. Take my lighter. Pull that back. There you go. That is the original Temple Dog. Very very good salmon fly. Uh, tie them big. Take them much bigger than this, you can have them, as I say, 15 centimetres long. When you're only limited by the hair you've got, uh, you know, you switch to some goat or something, or uh, I mean, if you can get a legal monkey or something, that's good. Black bear, just to get you that extra, extra length. So, get some varnish in this. This will be the first of two or three. Oh, nice. It will just build a nice shiny shiny head. Very hard and as I say you're encasing you're encasing that thread. The thread's already glued to itself but the The two or three coats of varnish just make it absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere. You don't need to worry about your fly unraveling. So, there you go. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. The original Temple Dog. Obviously, you can tie different versions with cones and turbo discs and whatever. 
But um, I just thought I'd give you the, the original. So um, thanks very much for watching. And uh, tight lines, guys. Bye.